well i'm finally back on making daily tutorial anyways hi everyone it's me i'm the kc here it's 4 a.m right now that's why my voice sounded like this today i want to be teaching you guys how to do some basic compositing so that you guys could apply into your edit if you guys wanted to make some anime mix edit next nice wing or some of the other editor as well so i also wanted to teach you guys a little bit more about some kind of stuff like this so that i could teach i mean i will make a series where we're gonna be talking about 3d and some of the other stuff next month i just got fired from one of the places that i'm working on that's why i'm probably broke and have a lot of death need to you know taking care of that that's why i'm back to the channel and for all 15 years old kids like me who don't even have a baby it's kind of hard for me so if you guys wanted to support me please consider to click to the link right down in the description where i leave my pay hip you guys can buy some stuff that i make from that with a pretty cheap price or if you have vietnamese you can using the player duo link if you don't have a paypal and also one last thing here is you can must check the link right out in the description to download all the blocking and some of the resort as well as the free project file no pressure let's right right into the tutorial i'm dead i'm tired now <laughs> So to do this, first of all, of course, we're going to go into create a new composition. I'm just going to drag the background as well as the render or PNC right down. And now what we're going to go into do is we're going to be scale down the banner a little bit if you want to. As well as the render, we're going to go into placing it at the right place. We, I want it to be a little bit like this so we're gonna go and control shift c choosing this option hit ok to we're just gonna go inside here and we're just gonna removing the watermark i'm just gonna leave it right there and we're gonna take the render style i want this to you know like cover up the whole thing we're just gonna set the high up around 1090 as you can see and back to the main composition. Now, what we're gonna going to do right now is we're gonna be going ahead and making some kind of adjustment, you know, some kind of lighting into your composition. Yeah, I'm gonna put this one down a bit more. All right, this one is too much. Oh, uh, maybe I wanna put this one up. Yeah, maybe I wanna put this one a little bit up like this. And now what we're gonna go into do here is we're gonna be put some effect into this to make some kind of smooth lighting so we're just gonna add drop shadow it's not like pretty 3d and it's looking bad but when you add set matte and cc composition right i mean cc composition is gonna be looking different so we're just gonna add this effect first oh yeah it's wrong fucking shit <laughs> DC combo shit this one and we're gonna turn on shadow only which is showing something like this so we're just gonna go into composites original put it into multiply and turn off the rgb only which is so a very dark little thing like this we get really good because the background actually very dark so now for this one we're gonna change the distance which is to see here is why we're just gonna put it like this put some thing like this to it and going ahead to do something more with this so i'm just gonna i think this direction is good already it's already good now once we've done this we're gonna go into add some curve into this scene i wanted to make this one a little bit net saturation so we're just gonna go ahead and pull something like this i guess we're just gonna pull something like this something a little bit darker and i put some sort of thing i think going around just like this is good and as you can see the background is kind of blue so i wanted to be push the blue up as you can see put the blue up a little bit the red i just wanted to make this one a bit darker and do the same thing with the green you know trying to manage let me put this one up and here is some basic thing that we should know when you're trying to do something 
so for this opacity i want it to be put this on a bit like this I wanted to put some distance and some of the sober thing like this and once you've done this what we're gonna go into add another effect is some ramp effect so i'm just gonna use gradient ramp for this one i'm just gonna put the y into the light sort and the dark into some kind of dark sign like this and as you can see for this one, we don't really have way too much option, but if you can have another effect named YY Run, it's going to be very good as well. So I haven't done this one yet, so I'm just going to go ahead, create a new solid. We're going to go ahead and add set mat into the new solid. I'm going to put this one into the render.png and we just going to, you know, trying to fit this one by copying the composition side and stop i forgot to tell you about that so go to near solid setting for the high and when i set this one one sig one eight and hit okay now it fit completely fit to this so now we can work with this now i'm just gonna add gradient ram we're gonna put the light side over there and the dark side over there seeing we put the drop shadow like that so i'm just gonna go ahead and pull it like this all right once you've done this we're gonna change the mode into multiply oh shit it's not color burn it's still ugly multiply as you can see so yeah you're just gonna try the best to do some kind of adjusting to your stuff so that's looking better here on the curve i wanted to change this one a bit like mm, no idea though if we pull this one up lighter so it's be better <laughs> so now we're gonna go into working on the light warp so for the light warp we're gonna well, the first thing we're gonna go into do right now is we're gonna be pre-compose a background just like the second option name the one background and do the same thing with this one I mean this one we didn't change any setting on this so i don't really think that we should but if you change the scale or anything i really want you to pre-combo this one and now what we're gonna go into do right now is we're gonna be go ahead and make a new solid i'm just gonna name this one night warp so let's we're gonna add set channel we're gonna set it all into background if you guys don't know, I actually need to guys about this on my last tutorial about Wirix, you know, 3D scene. So yeah, you just follow me. Let's we're gonna go into asset mat and we're gonna change it into the layer this this layer. So as you can see, there's a problem with this layer is the composition right there is different than the solid style. So to fix this like i said we're just gonna pre compose this that's why i choose when you know i'm not now i pre compose it i want to show you guys what happened if you guys not pre compose so yeah you can see now it perfectly fit i guess so so what we're gonna go into do right now is we're gonna be going to click on invert mark and we're gonna add an effect named god simpler just gonna pull this one up turn on repeat a pixel or you can use another thing named deep glow so we're just gonna put the deep glow that into it and we're gonna go for the next effect we're gonna add one more time set map to nip is now only leave the light warp nothing else than that so the boot night warp click it under png layer and we got something like this so when you turn this one up pull this one down and we change the mode to multiply or some sort of thing like screen or something like that it's gonna make a pretty nine eye warping so here i'm just gonna set this one with this deep glow to click on this and we're gonna have some kind of light warping around it as you can see got it so i wanted to change some of the setting on this as well as 
the thing right there c9 pre combo this one then i also need to change this one into 180 now we do some kind of adjustment and yeah here we go we good to go now i prefer to do some sort of thing like this now next we're gonna go in ahead and work with the background so for the background i'm gonna use a thing called fast pull key which make the background much better if you don't have this plugin please check out the link right out in the description on my discord server as well so we're just gonna go into bokeh just trying to make some kind of bokeh background i'm just gonna choose maybe pcc lens blur obs also good as well put the iris scale to five gamma put it up and now what we're gonna go into do right now is we're gonna chain the light work being i'm just gonna put the threshold up a bit so that we could have more colorful you know work now next we're gonna go into add another solid here i want to name this one flare and we're gonna add an effect from video called bylot optical flare you can use e line claw light factory or something like that or uh, some of the other flare effects are also gonna work as well so we're just gonna quickly go into this we're just gonna choose some of the thing that you like i'm just gonna go in very fast with this because this one is simple i'm just gonna select the crazy nine Put it over there. Nice, some sort of thing like this. Oh, I will explain why I put it on this position as well. So here I wanna go into option. I wanted to change the global color to blue. See we've done that. What we're gonna go into do right now is change the render mode to untransparent. Go to the shot type, go into 3D foreground ear for this foreground ear you must turning on all 3d on every single layer so yeah when you turn this one on you wanted to work with some of the other stuff as well so for this one i don't really think that we should you know nay all right it's it's getting bad <laughs> and do some kind of mistake here So we're gonna turn this one into 3D for ground here. We're gonna turn it into the render. So basically when we're trying to move this one across this, it's gonna be hiding. It's gonna be very, you know, useful when you're trying to do some kind of 3D editing and stuff. Here I wanted to put it like this, I guess so. Now create another one i want to name this one named cc jar because basically i wanted to make some kind of title on top and on the bottom also gonna set the solid layer to black it's gonna be looking more realistic than that dirty ass gray corner i'm just gonna put this one into 85 and for the flare i wanted to change the flare position a bit i mean around this and the center position i wanted to put this one up now the next thing that we're gonna go into add is some color correction so we're just gonna name this layer cc and we're just gonna add look into this so i'm just gonna go in very quick if you guys wanted to learn more i'm probably gonna make a separate tutorial about that so go into the lens for the lens V10, I want to use this one. Mm, I wanted to make it focus on the main character that we have right there. So we're gonna do this one like this. Another layer, it's droplets, must have layer. Put this one basically like this. Another layer, flare and haze. Put this one before this. Boily, put it like this. Subnet, put it into like this rigs like this put the tin color to blue and i guess that's pretty all about it 
so next we're gonna go into post go through we're gonna add some mojo into that this one i'm gonna use some kind of you know preset here that you guys could choose for your work looking really nice or i think i want to use some bed is not that good less torrent too much handmade improve <laughs> improve <laughs> what the fuck anyway i want to put the mojo up i'm gonna change some setting here water darkness exposed green probably need to change a bit and put a strength uh, and subject uh since we already have the mojo i don't really think we should add subject or you can add some loot no daddy blue unity there's a lot of different things that you could add into it this one also good for some kind of manga but we're not doing manga here so we just delete it so when we done this we're just gonna put this one down and here we go here is your final resort in the future i will teach you guys how to do some kind of opacity and all this stuff as well so don't worry about that and now see ya in the next two hours i have a lot of death need to pay so yeah more tutorial coming soon